Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic here today at Korea Town in New York City. Now we're heading over to the Korean barbecue. Uh, it's an all you can eat place called the uh, Less Meat, M E A T. Clever, huh? So, when going to Korean barbecue, there's one thing you must understand never bring anything valuable with you because it's just gonna smell like Korean barbecue forever. Right? Notice I'm wearing some strange clothing that is going into the wash anyway. Okay, so don't bring your dry clean only prized uh, hat and scarf. Don't bring your, I don't know, luxury bag that is like all nice and everything. Uh, your prized possession, you're gonna get oil splattered, it's gonna smell like smoke, whole bunch of stuff. But, you know, it's good to eat. Let's take a look at the menu. Hello. Oh, thank you. The Korean barbecue comes standard with some stuff over here, some vegetables as you can see, and a limited selection of Korean side dishes. It's not bad, guys. So we get the number 16, 16. Uh, pork belly, yeah. and the number 10, the brisket, and some uh, 14 beef flat iron steak. Yeah, two sundubu. Two white rice. Yeah. All right, it's coming along, guys. Sorry, I have to yell. It really is noisy in here. Wow, kind of spicy. All right, so now we have some of this brisket. It tastes like brisket, guys. Now, a flat iron steak. As expected, it tastes like steak. All right, guys, the pork belly. Every time I shout, people from other tables look at me like, why is he shouting? Because it's a little noisy in here. It has that robust pork flavor. It's very good. And periodically, they change the grill. So one thing about this place is that if you do come, you have to come with somebody. They will charge you for two people at a minimum, right? I don't know why they do that. There's no option to dine alone. Maybe because the, they don't find it cost effective to have like the whole thing operating for just one person. But whatever the reason is, make sure you come with someone, okay? Otherwise you'll be paying double for nothing. All right, so now we're gonna try the marinated hanger steak. It looks like this. Like a piece of beef, which it is. Mmm, pretty good, guys. Mm. All right, now we have the chicken teriyaki. It's good, it's good. It's white meat, but I think they should have made it with dark meat. 
that way it'll, it won't be as dry. But uh, let's try now the marinated pork short rib number 18. It tastes the same as the chicken teriyaki. <laughs> All right, so now the uh, marinated ribeye. Ooh, steamy. Ah, well, that tasted like ribeye. Oh, okay, bye bye now. I'll be running back and forth, so just in case when I'm not there, I just want to say bye. Oh, I thought you are going home. No, not yet. I'm just going to be in the back helping the kitchen now. So oh, how nice. Front, okay. okay. Take care. Okay. Yeah, I come here a lot but not as much as I would like to because of the two-person rule. You know, it's, it's, it's not often I find someone to be like, okay, yeah, let's go to Let's Meet. Okay, guys, this is the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed watching it, and if you did, Please press that like button, it would really help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you would like more of the same coming up, please press that subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and have yourself a good night guys. Bye bye. Yes, I'm putting everything into the laundry hamper.